I am very excited to introduce your next keynote speaker. She's an executive at Annie Mac Works, and she's a lifestyle editor at the Women with Vision magazine. Welcome to the stage, Carrie Fitzpatrick. Megan, thank you, Megan. I appreciate that, and thank you all for being here. So I am very excited to be one of the first people to be able to welcome you, welcome you, welcome you to Tampa, Florida, the home of the Bucks, the Super Bowl champions, right? The, um, <laughs> I, I, that was for you, Jenna. <laughs> um, the Tampa Bay Lightning, right? They're, def they're in the playoffs right now, getting ready to defend their Stanley Cup. Who would have thought that little old Tampa would be such a sports town? Not I. I'm from Fort Lauderdale. So I'm a Dolphins fan. And, <laughs> and we used to make fun of them. And now where are they? Where are they? So um, yeah, I'm really excited to be here. And I really appreciate you coming. My name is Carrie Fitzpatrick. And I am the co-founder of Annie Mac Works, a realtor pr productivity platform that serves real estate professionals for my, one of my favorite mortgage banks, Andy Mac Home Mortgage. <laughs> I'll be politically correct here. <laughs> I'm also the uh, lifestyle editor for the Women with Vision magazine. I am on the board of directors for Women with Vision. I am the mother of five and a wannabe farmer. <laughs> And when I was asked to contribute um, to the Women with Visions lifestyle section, I thought, that sounds a little foofy. Lifestyle? It's foofy. I mean, I'm not Martha Stewart. I'm not Ina Garten. I'm not any of those people. I'm a businesswoman and a farmer. And I uh, have actually the scratches on my arms from Sunday to show you that I was actually out there weeding. Um, I mean, I love to entertain, I love to keep my home, I love to do all those things, and uh, my good friend Christine has visited me and uh, appreciated those things, apparently. And uh, I really do construction myself, yes, that's me. And, um, <laughs> it really wasn't my particular cup of tea, I thought, you know? But once I met with Candy and I found out what they were looking for and where we were gonna go with this, I thought, you know what? I could get behind this. I could really dig my teeth into it. So what I realized is that lifestyle could actually, the word itself could actually be exchanged with quality of life, right? Is your business stealing your quality of life? Is it stealing your time? You know, I decided a long time ago when I was a school teacher and had my first child and I decided that if my business that was it at the time didn't contribute to the quality of my life, then I didn't want to be in it. So I quit. Yes, that's what I did. And I got into this wonderful industry that we all now know and love, right? So I want to say that if you are currently running your business and it is taking every bit of joy, you're either in the wrong business or you're running it wrong. You have to focus on your life as well. You have to be in it. It can't steal all of your joy or your moments. So in my articles and in my column, I try to give you tips, tricks to make it better, to make your life to make it be what you want it to be. You know, I see so many people, and I was one of those people after I left and got into this business, that more was my business plan, right? More isn't a business plan. More is not better. Better is better. So what I want for y'all, sorry, I just moved to North Carolina. <laughs> it's true. What I want for you guys <laughs> is to take a look deep and see what it is that you're doing that's working, 
what it is that's not and what's going to enhance your lifestyle so that you can live a life that serves, your business can serve your life instead of you serving your business. So with that being said, I was also wanted to talk to you about the amazing women that are in this room. I am so grateful to be a part of this organization of Women With Vision. My 22-year-old uh, daughter is home. She just graduated from college, so I was gonna say for the summer, but we're not sure how long that's gonna be. <laughs> she just graduated from college, and she is a beautiful woman right now searching for her vision. And it's my job to help her, it's our job to help her to find that vision, but in the meantime, we were laying on the couch on Saturday and surfing through the TV and the movie Mean Girls came on. Does anybody know the movie Mean Girls? <laughs> so Tina Fey's got a whole group of women or girls in this, in this gymnasium and she says, how many girls in this room have been talked about behind their back by girls in this room? Do you know that almost 100% of the girls raised their hand? And she took it a step further. And she said, how many women in this room have talked behind the back of the women in this room? And again, the hands all went up. I am utterly grateful for the opportunity to be surrounded by these women with vision and award winners who don't play that game. I think it's time for us. <laughs> to raise each other up. It's time for us to contribute to each other's growth. It's time for us to applaud one another, to refer to one another, to be the change that we wanna see in the world of women working. You know, when I was a little girl, I didn't really have a lot of girlfriends. Maybe I was too driven. Maybe I was too shy. Maybe I had too much testosterone. <laughs> but all, all my friends were guys. Because I didn't really like the way that they treated each other. And I knew that it just wasn't right. So having been in the mortgage industry for about 15 years, about 10 years ago, I met this lady. We did not hit it off when we first met. I have the distinct honor of introducing this lady to you this evening and I'm very excited to have been asked, and I'm humbled to have been asked. I have a BFF who is unstoppable. I kind of think that I'm the Gail to her Oprah. <laughs> and, um, I had the opportunity to watch her transition and to be the sounding board, if you will, for her transition from mortgage executive to the amazing entrepreneur that she has become. During that time, I had a front row seat. Heck, sometimes I was even riding shotgun. When everybody was saying, you should do this, you should do this, I want you to do this first, this first, and she said, nope. I know exactly what I want. I know exactly where I'm going. I know exactly how I'm gonna get there. And I know exactly how long it's gonna take. And my goodness, look around this room today. Because my BFF, Buffy, Christine Beckwith,
has done an amazing job, and I would like to welcome her to the stage.